In the world of moving pictures, actress Judy Zaudu, whose debut feature movie, Just Not Married, was one of the most awarded films of 2017, earning accolades at most of the film festivals of the year. Well, Aoudou is not resting on her oars as she recently made a movie for the director's chair. She joins us via telephone to discuss this. Hello, Judith. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for my now you've taken a bold step in your career by making a directorial debut. Of course, we've seen many people congratulate and commend you. But what we haven't seen is what moved you to make this move. Um, a lot of people have been asking that question. And then a lot of people have actually been expecting it. Uh, most times when I go for interviews, they usually introduce me as Judy Daoji, the director. Um, the thing is... I would have probably started off as a director um, after my NYC days where I was directing for stage. But I wanted to learn because directing for screen is quite different. I wanted to learn um, what, it, what it entails, you know, all the rudiments and everything it would entail. So I've actually been learning on the job all this while. Um, that's why I've been taking a lot of other jobs, doing a lot of production management and um, learning from awesome you know, um, directors that I have always um, you know, wanted to learn from the likes of Sadio Gidon, Niji Akoni, and I've been privileged to work with all of them and learn from all of them. And um, I felt it was time. I felt the time was right. And I just thought it was right to, to do it because I've been training for it. I've been reading. I've been, you know, doing a lot of stuff and just training myself. Because directing for me, it's not something you just jump on. To be a very good director, you have to understand every aspect of filmmaking. You have to know what it takes to actually be a good actor, be a good producer, be a good writer, um, understand lighting, understand cinematography, understand every single aspect of, you know, of filmmaking. And then you can be a good director because a director answers to everybody. You need to have questions for everything. So if you don't know about them, you can't answer to them. You know, so I've been training myself in all of all these aspects and um, I felt it was time to take on it. Interesting. Now, it's common knowledge that we don't have many popular female directors in Nollywood. Was this in any way a challenge you wanted to take on? Um, not really. I'm, 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 I'm one person that don't... Uh, I, I fight for females, but I believe everybody needs to earn their rights to everything. And I think we actually do have a lot of female directors right now in Nollywood. Um, there's a lot of it. And imagine, um, you know, um, we, we have plenty of female directors and they're really good at what they do. And funny enough, it was actually Papa Oshin I saw that actually motivated me to become more than an actor when I first came into, into this industry um, in 2010. Um, I met her while I was on set on things that she was directing. And she was also handling the camera. That, uh, that actually made me realize a woman can actually be more. Because most girls don't know. They actually think as a woman, you can only be an actor in this industry. You can only be an actor, a makeup artist, or a costumer. But beginning to realize there is no rule um, that says a man can only be the one that can be on the technical side could be whoever you want to be. And for me, Topo she was what made me see that and what motivated me to become more in the industry and to be a full-fledged filmmaker. So I wouldn't say I, I came because I wanted to say, hey, I'm a woman, I'm a director. No, but because um, I, wa I want to be here, I want to I want to be relevant in my industry, I want to be able to tell my own stories my own way. And um, being a woman for me is an added advantage because we are very meticulous and we pay attention to details. That is um, not fancy, I can't even say that enough. Um, so... Something motivated me to be here at the Boshi, and I'm happy we we're beginning to have a lot of amazing female directors too that are not just here and claiming, oh, I'm a woman, feel sorry for me, but they are here and they're doing it really well. They are owning it. Tell me about this movie, Mirabel. Mirabel, it's, uh, it's an adaptation of a poem um, written by Moses Akirili who I think writes amazing poems. I read some of his poems on um, Instagram, and I told him I wanted to adapt it into screenplay, and he told me he has one that is really personal to him, and he sent me Mirabel. I read Mirabel, and immediately I knew I wanted to do Mirabel, and then I asked him to send me the concluding part of it, and he gave me the right to um, adapt it into screenplay. So I wrote it into a screenplay, and um, Mirabel is a story about two young lovers, um, that were so much in love that they got lost 
in, in it. And um, due to an unplanned pregnancy, a lot of things in their life fell apart. And Mirabel came along. But it took five years of trying to get through. So it was like a long love lost love found and if this love that has been found would be able to replace the love that was was lost five years ago so the lead character for five years tried to get hold of mirabel um so it's just it's just a play about trying to find a lost love for five years it's a semi-silent film um the entire film is a voiceover so it's it's a very it's experimental it's um and it was it was fun and amazing directing it, especially because of the people that were in it. Um, Amo Midada, who I think is one of the best um, actors we have from this batch, was the lead actress. And it's funny; she's always uh, part of me when I'm making history. My direct, my producing debut, she was also the lead actress. And here again, she's also the lead actress in my directorial debut. So, how would you compare directing and production? What are the unique challenges? Um, I would I would say the one of the major challenges as a director is the fact that you're supposed to have questions, answers to every single question, and you're supposed to think on your feet. You're supposed to be able to get think of solutions to problems immediately. Um, you can't. It's, it's everybody think you know, so you have to know. You know, you have to just give answers to stuff and um, make it make it readily available. But being the producer and the director also have an added advantage because then you're not answerable to somebody else that you need to go ask for permission to get stuff from. And you know what the financial implication is. You know what you have and what you don't have. So you can be able to answer your questions immediately without thinking so much. That was another added advantage for me. Um, directing and producing at the same time. So I think that's the major difference between the two. But if it's a paid director and a paid producer, the difference is major. Because as a producer, you are bordering every single thing in the film. So when the movie is done, everybody goes to their house and sleeps. But you as a producer need to think of how you're going to make your money back. You need to think of... So it, the work never ends for a producer. A producer keeps on working forever on the film, whereas the director immediately he finishes, that's it. But a very good director would actually be there for the editing, because that's why when his movie is done, it's called the director's film, because he needs to be there, he needs to be there for the post, he needs to finish the post, and then hand it over to the producer. All right, and thank you for speaking with us, Judith Audu, Nollywood actress, producer, and now director. Thank you so much, Mayo, I really appreciate it. Entertainment News, we'll go on a quick break, we'll be right back.